I also, if I could, uh, Mr. President, just mention, I mentioned quickly the issue about broadband. This legislation that we're going to be voting on includes seven billion dollars for more broadband priorities, one billion dollars for connectivity issues for tribal country, and I know as the presiding officer knows that Indian country needs a lot of connectivity, so getting uh, more broadband into those communities will be very helpful. The COVID package also in, uh, contains money, additional funding that I know Senator Wicker and others worked on for telehealth. Telehealth is a critical path during the COVID crisis to make sure that communities have the ability to get expert uh, advice into our homes into our communities to connect people with information. So this telehealth grant, which is a very important uh, program in the state of Washington, uh, I think we probably got something like $8 million previously you know, from, from telehealth, and this will help us continue. I am disappointed that we did not include um, priorities in here for the E-rate program to help close the homework gap. This is something that Senator Markey and others worked on very hard, and it's very disappointing that we can't come to an agreement on something as important as E-rate. This legislation provides the ability for hotspots for people who may be going to college and not going to classes, but in or around a university, and I think that that is a good idea, but we were prohibited from doing the same thing for students at the K through 12 level. If one thing the pandemic has showed us is that students are at home and need to be able to connect, to stay connected to their education schedule, to do their homework, and be part of the education system. So I hope that we will address this inequity in the bill in the future.